Right, propped up the front of the vehicle so the wheels can turn. And here's the drive. The big cog on the motor acting is a flywheel. The two stage reduction and a crank. And the crank moves the two wheels around the motor acting. Now, what happens is I put that on the floor. When it can move easily, that arm there, the curved bent one, moves the lever through a long travel. When it comes up against the load, when it can't, when it gets stiff, the wheels move much less. Because the spring starts to flex, and you can see there that there's movement. The relative movement between those two means that the there's a load on the uh, racket, which means the wheels move less for every evolution of the crank, and that's low ratio. Because cranks produce more force at near top and bottom dead center, you get more force on the racket, and. Uh, that end stop arrangement there is to make sure that it, there is always at least some minimum movement. And so there you have it. I'll prop the wheels up again, you see they move much more with no load on them. Yeah, there you have it. Crank drive CVT. Be interesting to see how it goes when there's uh, sunshine on it. This is the CVT vehicle. This is the normal straight geared vehicle. We'll have a race and see which one uh, goes best. <laughs>